Selfie Le Patio, the UCI chief, is now confirmed as a candidate for the presidency of the International Olympic Committee. Now we understand why there was so much interest in posing with all kinds of athletes for selfies at the Olympic Games in Paris just a couple of months ago. Putting it bluntly, the guy who runs cycling worldwide is now more intent than ever on making even more money and more contacts than he already enjoys in his own sport. Of course, he has the support of a triple entente of close, close friends. There's Pope Francis, representing the Vatican. There's the sheikhs of Saudi Arabia, representing the dollars obtained by exploiting human rights. Oh, and the defender of the doped, Albert of Monaco. A fashionable tax haven among cycling stars, you know. Now, we don't know if he will become president of the IOC, but if his policies don't extend beyond taking selfies with the winners and the most exotic athletes, in exchange for no sporting megastar testing positive in anti-doping tests, well, I wouldn't bet against the cycling guy. If you want to stay up to date with this news and much, much more, subscribe to the channel. Do it now. And of course, you can follow us on our official Twitter, at Uncle Cycling. And now, let's move on to analyse the great news about Poggy, our beloved Slovenian alien, in the run-up to the Zurich 2024 World Championships. The nine-year-olds who admire the Sonier Duval team rider couldn't be more excited. The team's sporting director for 20 years now, Moonlight Machin, has given us some enlightening words about his current form. According to the bald Spaniard, Poggy is moving numbers very similar to those he had in the Giro d'Italia and Tour de France 2024, and that's in training prior to the World Championships in Zurich. The level at which we will see the Slovenian smashing his rivals will be worthy of finishing four minutes quicker than the doped Marco Pantani on a long or category course. Nobody, absolutely nobody, will be able to stop him on September the 29th, and so he will end up wearing the rainbow jersey, and will wear it for 2025 season, and for many more years with courses as favourable to him as Montreal 2026 being on the menu. Now let's remember also he will have in his team one of the best domestiques possible, the Slovenian skier Primoz Roglic, who after winning the Vuelta Espana 2024 and recovering quietly over recent days, He's arriving in top form, ready to win a medal in the time trial on the 22nd, and this after being absent for five years from the World Championships. And then he'll be eager to help his leader alien in the road cycling event. It's quite curious because Rogler has commented that he was very close to quitting cycling and retiring for good after his crash in the Tour de France 2024, but after a great mental effort and the conviction of cycling dinosaurs like Javier Guillén, ensuring that the Slovenian could participate in a rather easy Vuelta Espana with virtually no major rivals, well, it's all helped to return him to the highest competitive level, something which we're very happy about on this channel. However, what has caught our attention most of all in recent days has been our Twitter conversation with Mo, the popular insider of the Sonier Duval team who's revolutionised the way of communicating cycling data through tweets and posts on internet forums. From here, we've always believed in the word of this Croatian who's connected to the powerful Emirati team. And maybe that's why we were able to have a friendly chat with the guy who uses a finished soccer coach to hide his true identity. And he had some very interesting details about the Sony A team and Poggy in particular. Now, knowing his nationality, we also wanted to ask him about Christian Durasek, the forgotten pedalist who was part of Dracula Gianetti's structure for seven seasons. He came from Slovenian cycling, and then he was caught in Operation Adalas as just another dirty, doped-up doper, with doping blood transfusions, trying to win races within the Sonier Duval team. But Mo, despite being a compatriot and sharing a team with Durasek, could not tell us anything about the present-day life of the little Croatian climber, missing at 37 years of age, without anyone knowing what has become of his life. If anyone can tell us what happened to him, please let us know in the comments. 
Now, Mo, above all other things, is known to be a staunch defender of Poggy. And we wanted to ask him about the opinion of his medical trainer, Javier Solar, the popular Spanish doctor who has dramatically improved the alien's performance during the last season after replacing the bald fraud Inigo San Milan, who seemed to be more concerned with the preparation of players and some totally obsolete training techniques. And so we asked Mo because we knew that in the past, Solar had called the white Kenyan Chris Froome a true mutant for his Martian escapades whilst a top his Pinarello bike in the Tour de France, where he crushed the competition back in 2016. Of course, knowing that Poggy has crushed all the records of the current meme cyclist of the Jewish-Israel Premier Tech team, we were interested in the opinion now of his expert physical trainer. And the answer, well, it hasn't disappointed us. For according to Mo, as far as Solai is concerned, Poggy is touched by the hand of God. Now, we don't know if it's the same hand as Diego Armando Maradona, but that's the big difference, it seems, between the Slovenian cyclist and all the other cyclists in the world. It's incredible, isn't it? Divine Christian forces. So we can see that Solar is a clear devotee of this religion. It's the Christian forces that supposedly make a man fly, make him slaughter the records of doped riders wherever he goes. Now, that seems perfectly reasonable, and I think you can understand that pretty well. And then we wanted to ask him if Poggy was using any TUEs, you know, any medical prescription that would allow him to legally take any otherwise illegal medication, like focusing Avnapool and his Ritalin. But Mo's answer was totally clear. No! No, Poggy doesn't dope, he doesn't use TUEs, he doesn't use a motor on his bike, not anything else. Nothing, nothing at all. An opinion contrary to that of 11 people, 11 heretics who at the time of writing had retweeted the tweet where I asked if Poggy, the Slovenian alien, was using some kind of doping substance. You have to be bad people to think that a guy who on bread and water, the bread thing literally, and well, the water thing too, we could even replace it with water and mystery. That's all that's needed to help him fly on his bike, oh, with an additional aid of an aerodynamic bra that helps him crush the records of dopers like Armstrong or Pantani, as well as his own records of only four years ago, and the records of champions of the past decade like Tramadolita Quintana or the White Kenyan. And it's precisely with this last rider that Poggy has some things in common, besides the occasional visit to Lavinio. He shares a physiotherapist who helps him to improve his posture on the bike against the clock. Alex Batchelly, whom they both met in Monaco. And he's turned these monsters into real uber-demons against the clock. In fact, then, Mo gave us another exclusive, telling us that Poggy will continue to improve in his time trial training at the Valencia Velodrome over the winter of 2024-2025, and will enjoy new materials and innovations from David Herrero, the popular former cyclist of doped teams like Oscatel Uscardi or Jacobeo Galicia. And he is a man who's been dedicated to bike fitting for almost 15 years. That's not surprising then that he is the current head of biomechanics at the Sonia Duval team. These two men together with Javier Solar will further improve the shredder that is Poggy for the 2025 season. And so, if you've been getting a little bored in 2024 watching him win on all types of terrain, you'd better get ready, because the best is yet to come. From here, we can only thank Mo for his exclusives and his confessions. And I hope you do too. You could leave a like on this video and a comment. And when you've done that, you could stop by the video on the screen. You, you will love it.